All right, welcome in, guys, to the GSMC Golf Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. I'm your host, Garrison McDaniel, and we have a great show for you guys today, where we will be previewing the PGA Championship, or sorry, (laughs) we will not be previewing the PGA Championship. We're going to be talking about what happened during the PGA Championship, uh, how Xander Shoffley won, and then our second segment is going to be talking about what that win for Xander Shoffley means for his legacy, especially with how he did it in such an amazing field that we saw uh, this weekend. Our third segment today will be talking about uh, Scotty Scheffler and his shocking arrest Friday morning. Of course, that happened Friday. Our last podcast was Thursday, so we have to talk about that, have to dive right into that one. Our fourth segment tonight, guys, will be me uh, revealing my top 10 best golfers in the world, and then make sure you guys stick around uh, in the show where we'll be talking about the Lakers uh, all-star point guard. Austin Reeves uh, tried uh, his best at uh, making it in pro golf, but uh, we'll talk about how that turned out in that final segment. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, uh, but before we talk about that all, guys, um, I would love to remind you, uh, if you have any questions, uh, any comments for this show, use the tips and donations link at jsmcpodcast.net. That ensures that I'm able to see it, um, and it also really helps out all the creators here at the GSMC Sports Network. Everyone here deserves it. Uh, we all do, or everybody here does amazing work. Uh, but without further ado, we'll get into our first segment of the night here, talking about Xander's weekend as he wins his first major. I'm going to show you his scorecards from each round, uh, and then we'll talk about really how well he played comparatively. Uh, you know, a lot of people, this was the lowest scoring major championship of all time, Uh Usually you're seeing uh, green numbers when it comes to major championships in the field. uh, This was the scoring average blew any other major championship out of the water. And Xander Shoffley really started us off with that uh, trend here. At Valhalla, it is a pretty easy course uh, for these guys. But Xander Shoffley uh, opened it up on the first day, shot a 62. With all four of these scorecards, guys, I want you to look at... Um, a few holes here. First off, look at ten, because that is a uh, that was a difficult par five uh, that he played very well on um, on his first round. It was his first hole at Valhalla, uh, so you're not really expecting a um, really a par is good on your first hole on the course here. Just trying to get a foot into the door here, but uh, on the other days he played very well on ten um, on. Four and six, those were two of the most difficult holes on the entire course, and he he played really well on those, and then seven was the easiest hole on course. When The last time we saw Valhalla at a major championship, it was Rory McIlroy's win in 20, um, that was 2014, was uh, when he won his last major championship, Rory McIlroy. He birdied seven on all four days, uh, so the first round. Course record off the gates. Xander Shoffley uh, put his name at the top of the leaderboard very early on on uh, Thursday, and uh, he didn't look back. He goes tape to tape in this one. It was a very impressive. Uh, it was a very very impressive Thursday. Uh, the par fives for him were playing very short, and then he did very well on the holes that you kind of need to play very well. Sixteen is a big hole for these guys. 11, this long par three. If you could get it on the green, you have a shot at birdie, and he was able to uh, make that happen. And then four, getting a birdie at four was huge. And then, of course, seven. We talked about it, you needing to birdie seven, and he did just that. And that was the first round. Now we're going into round two. This was his worst round of the week. However, he still shot a 68. Still ended up uh, top of the leaderboard after this day. It kind of showed you what a, an impressive lead he uh, made for himself on the first day, shooting the course record, a record in major uh, in major ch- championships, shooting a 62. It's only happened four. It's only happened three other times. Uh, now four other times with Shane Lowry doing it on Sunday. Um, Xander Shoffley holds two of those five spots though right now. So. Very impressive what this guy is doing in majors. 
uh, he, he played very well at the Masters earlier this year and then winning the PGA Championship. He's definitely a name to look out for for the rest of this year, especially uh, as we get into the U.S. Open. That's the second major championship um, this year. That's uh, the second weekend in June. But, yeah, round two for Xander Shoffley. Look at 10 here. That's a birdie for him. That was that was much needed. Seven, as we said, that's a birdie. Much needed. <clears throat> he gets pars on both four and six, where the, which were the two hardest holes on the course this uh, week. Uh, a bogey on 11 was disappointing for him. Um, however, he played very solid golf, even though he was not his best in the Friday. And then Saturday. This was a weird day for Xander Shoffley, but he still shoots a 68 as well. Um... So he goes 62, 68, 68, takes the 54-hole lead into Sunday. And on moving day here, again, birdies 10, birdies 7, birdies 17, 18. 15 was a hard one for him here, but it's pars on 4 and 6. Get him uh, get him right going into Sunday here. And then on Sunday, Xander Shoffley um, shoots a 65 Barely surpasses Bryson DeChambeau with a birdie on 18. <clears throat> Going into 18, it looked inevitable for a playoff, for another playoff at the PGA Championship. In our preview for this course, when, we're t- when we were talking about the history at Valhalla, uh, I told you guys that um, there was a lot of playoffs. Uh, Tiger Woods, during his Tiger Slam, had to win it in a playoff here. Rory McIlroy barely uh, beating Ricky Fowler and Phil Mickelson in 2014 by one stroke, almost having a playoff there, and then it, it, it was playoffs in 20 in 2009 on the Senior PGA Championship, 1996 Senior PGA Championship had a playoff, and I believe the 1994 PGA Championship also had a playoff. Uh, and that looked inevitable for for this one. Uh, Bryson DeChambeau having a fantastic Sunday, but uh, Xander Shoffley was just that little bit better here. Um, his front nine on Sunday was absolutely spectacular. Birdies one, birdies four, which he goes two under on four in the weekend. That's so impressive. Uh, at six, he was completely even. A lot of people bogeyed six. That's where a lot of people stumbled. He did not. Birdies, seven, all four days. He goes four under on seven. Uh, ten, it's a bogey here. However, he still played very well on ten throughout the weekend. Eleven, that's another birdie on eleven for him. He goes one under on the weekend on that hole. Eighteen, I believe he had three or two or three birdies on on 18, I think it was three birdies on 18, if I'm not mistaken, including the final day birdie to win the PJ Championship. So Xander Shoffley, through a fantastic weekend, gets his first major of his career. Uh, it, it was amazing to watch. He played fantastic golf the entire time. Uh, you guys saw it. There were, what, three bogeys on the entire card the entire weekend. He had a fantastic weekend playing near-perfect golf on a pretty difficult course to do it. There's a lot of mistakes that could be had at Valhalla. Seemed like the players kind of figured Valhalla out a little bit for this major. However, it still is a very impressive showing for Xander Shoffley and for all the other guys in the field uh, some other guys that played amazing golf this weekend that I would love to highlight. It was Bryson DeChambeau, second place, 20 under uh, he, any other major championship. That's 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 your winner right there. But Xander Shoffley was just the best player on earth this weekend. Uh, Rory McIlroy had a great weekend. He looks impressive in majors. Scotty Scheffler, even though he had... Sorry. <laughs> Even though Scotty Scheffler had his incident on Friday, he shoots a 66 on Friday. It's a disappointing round three. If he has his caddy, does it look a little bit different for him? Uh, that's going to be a question for sure. Um, but you ex- still expect him to be uh, the favorite going into the U.S. Open in, J- in June. Uh, Victor Hovland, 18 under. We've been talking about him a lot. Um, this year has looked bad for Victor. Uh it has, you know, he he fires his he fires his uh, swing coach uh, after he wins after he wins the FedEx Cup last year. Um, 
and that was a shock to a lot of people but he said that it just doesn't feel right uh, i might be playing good golf but it's it's wrong my swing is wrong hires a new guy plays awfully the first half of this year uh and then rehires that guy that he was working with last year that he won the fedex cup with so now you have victor hovland back with his old swing coach and this was the first tournament and you see the results immediately it's a it's immediate switch in how he played he shoots 18 under in this major plays amazing gets third um he's always in contention in these majors when he's on his game he can win on any course anywhere so He's probably one of the best golfers in the world to not have a major. And we're going to talk about that in the second segment. All the great golfers that don't have a major, uh, and it's very hard to win one. So that's why it's so impressive for Xander Shoffley to have done so uh, on this PGA Championship. This PGA Championship was really all it was made out to be. It was a fantastic event. You had star-studded names at the top. Xander Shoffley, Victor Hovland, Scotty Scheffler was up there for a while, Bryson DeChambeau. You had Jordan Spieth and Justin Thomas putting their hats in their ring. Shane Lowry making an absolute charge on the last day that nobody saw coming. Uh, so the PGA Championship was really all it was made out to be. It was very exciting to see these guys play amazing golf. And moving forward, I'm hoping to see that uh, similar style of play when it does come to the U.S. Open in June and when we get all the way down to the um, to the Open Championship um, as the last major of the year. This the Charles the Charles Schwab Invitational is the next tournament up on the docket. That's going to be one that has a stacked field, as a lot of people. Uh, it's not a signature event, but I believe it has a very large purse, and it does very well for FedEx Cup uh, standing. So a lot of people are going to play in that one. It's a Texas-hosted tournament, so you're going to see Jordan Spieth and Scotty Scheffler, the two Texas guys on tour, really uh, looking to win uh, at the Charles Schwab Invitational. So that's going to be one to look out for, and I think the PGA Championship did amazing to set us up for the rest of the year in golf. Um, it looks like a lot of people have found their way, and now I, I wouldn't be shocked to see 20 different guys win on any given week. And that's what you love to see in golf. Golf is the sport with probably the most parity in the world. Uh, so seeing that, you know, Xander Shoffley winning his first major uh, is uh, Roy McIlroy winning in a couple of weeks. Um, you have Adam Pendrith, who won a couple weeks ago at the C.J. Byron Nelson. You have Scotty Scheffler in an unbelievable run. So a lot of guys can win any week uh, they play on tour, and that's something I'm very excited to see uh, going into the rest of this year, going into the rest of the majors. You are a, or We are officially 50% done with the golf calendar, so I'm excited to see how the rest of the year plays out. Scotty Scheffler unable to win his unable to win a grand slam anymore however you could still see him win three out of four of these majors and i wouldn't be shocked but with that being said we're gonna uh take a quick we're gonna take a quick break here and then when i get back we're gonna be talking about xander shoffley and what this win did for his legacy in the world of golf